Today we're going to learn a little about Stagger. I know you've heard about Stagger and maybe you didn't know exactly what it was, but I got a nice little tool here that's going to help you understand. Let's say here that this is the right rear of the car. This is the left rear of the car. As the car goes with that left rear tire being a little bigger, see how it turns to the left, okay? That's basically how Stagger works, although this is an exaggerated version of that. To explain a little more to us, I've enlisted the help of Tim Fuller, who knows a few things about Stagger, as he's been racing for a long time now. So, Tim, how important is Stagger? And I would imagine it's one of the biggest things that, that can either put you in the ballpark or out of the ballpark, correct? Uh, it's a very big adjustment. Um, you, you go from uh, the variety of tracks that these cars go to. Um, you need to be in the ballpark, and, and whether they be dry, uh, slick, and, or heavy like last night, you know, you got a, a, a wide variety of stagger. Now, the biggest thing that I've learned with you guys is if the track is tackier and bitier, we want a little more stagger, and then as the night goes on, we take it away. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct in most places, yes. So what does that actually do? Why do we want more stagger when it's tackier? Well, take last night, for example, at can uh, We usually run six and a half to seven inches of stagger. Uh, last night we had a lot of rain before we got uh, to the track, so it was really heavy. And I mean, we had on eight and a half inches of stagger. Uh, if I could have got nine, I would have. But uh, it just frees the car up. I mean, it frees it up on entry, through the middle, uh, to off. Uh, you can just turn a lot better. It's a, a very quick and fast adjustment. And, and when we take away the stagger, when it slickens off, what does that do for you? Well, with these cars the way they are, you don't take away as much as we used to on bars. But uh, the thing is, it will really tighten you up when it gets uh, slippery, you know, because you aren't dragging that left rear anymore. So, you know, you get that left rear closer to the size of the right rear, and it's obviously going to make more traction. Now, obviously, that stagger helps you through the corners, but it does hurt you on the straightaways, does it not? I've seen guys almost steering to the right to make the thing go straight. It'll always it'll always hurt you on the straightaways, but it, it doesn't matter. you still got to get through the corner to get down the straightaway. So, um so that corner speed is more important than what you might lose on the straightaway. Well, with your corner speed being faster, you're going to be faster on exit, which is going to make you faster down the straightaway. So even though, I mean, hey, we'd all like to run two inches of stagger, but it's just not going to happen. <laughs> okay, now, the other thing I talked to, and, and, and there's a lot of different sizes. When you buy tires, you'd want to buy tire, tires that are different sizes, right? Correct. How do you know? Well, the chalk marks, which are kind of bogus anymore, but you, it's kind of a guessing game, uh, you know, like you take the right rears are 95 and a half chalk mark and the left rears would be 89, 89 and a quarter chalk mark. Um, and you're just hoping and praying that the left rear comes up to 85 or 85 and a quarter and the right rear comes up to 92 and three quarters or 93. But the chalk marks have been so off the wall lately that you got what you got and it may not show up. So you, that's why you need 10 to 12 tires mounted up at all times. And there's different size tires, too. I know the talls were out there. So have there been times when you haven't been able to get the stagger you want just because you don't have the numbers? There's been, uh, yeah, several times. I mean, that's why I said we got 10 or 12 tires mounted up. And, and there's sometimes you just can't get the tires and with the tire shortage. But it's, it's it definitely gotten better here lately. So, uh, but there's other adjustments that you do if you can't get the race stagger. There's little things that you can do. So um, you live with it. I heard you could leave a tire out in the sun and it'll grow a little bit, won't it? Yeah, been known to throw 30 pounds of air in it and let it grow out in the sun, but it, it doesn't grow as much as what you think. And, and then, well, some of them do, and then some of them will go a little out of control, so you got to be careful and, and, and monitor that. But uh, they will stretch. They will stretch. Some. It's What's amazing is some will stretch, and, and some won't stretch as much, and those are the ones that are probably chalk marked wrong. Realities of trying to get the stagger you want. That's why nobody wins every night, right, Tim? Well, exactly. <laughs> Hope you guys learned something here. I know I did. And uh, again, this tech tip, having a lot of fun doing them. Hoping to teach you a lot more about this sport we all love.